Welcome to the Deering Estate. In today's virtual field trip, we'll be focusing on our classroom pets. Our first classroom pet that we'll be focusing on is a native snake to Florida, scientifically known as Pantherophis butata, also known as the corn snake or the red rat snake. Normally they do have a crimson pattern, but in this case we do have an albino morph. These snakes live more or less about a decade. Females are a little bit bigger than the males as they do tend to have to hold the eggs. As you see here, the albinism, the lack of melanin, or pigmentation, or even coloration in the scales, prevents her from camouflaging in the wild. My question to you guys is, do you think in the wild we have any white trees or any white environment that she can actually hide in? Especially seeing something like this little guy right here, which is the natural coloration. These snakes in the wild naturally climb on trees. They're an arboreal snake, usually found on sable palms, salt palmettos, oaks, mahoganies, just about anything in a natural landscape that you can find that they can climb on. Her long prehensile tail further secures her as she climbs up trees, but will also be used for defenses like mimicking the rattle of a rattlesnake among dead foliage. Whether on the ground or on trees, these animals naturally predate any series of lizards, amphibians, and rodents. The senses that they use to home in on their prey actually consist of that flickering tongue which pick up particles and send a message to the brain. And in some cases, especially with other particular snakes, things like heat sensing pits. In this case, she also uses her jaw muscles to actually sense vibration which are actually messaged through an internal ear connected to her jawline. We hope you enjoyed our virtual field trip at the Deering Estate and remember when out in nature instead of using your hands to capture wildlife use a camera, use a video and tag us on Instagram at Discover Deering.